going on everyone today we're going to look at five of my favorite plugins on the ps vita and we're going to get started right away i hope everyone has auto plugins too we're going to be using that to take a look at these plugins and it's very essential to have this application on your ps vita anytime there's a new plugin that we need for a certain port or a new update to a plugin that we're already using you can go in here and update it and you're all set so i'll have a link to this in the description if you haven't already installed and i also have a video on how it works let's take a look at the first plugin and that is shellbat by now rep version 10 i think and this is a battery percentage in your status bar so by default if you have a standard Vita with that that's not hacked, you won't have that beautiful percentage up in the corner. So you're gonna be left out on, hey, where am I at? This is a basic information that should have been on the Vita since day one. And I, I can't believe that it wasn't even there. And you know, modders had to figure out how to get that for us through a plugin. And that's that's just very stupid for Sony to do not to provide that type of information for us right off the get go. But uh, I recommend everyone getting this plugin. That way you see exactly where you're at with your battery percentage and you don't lose out on your save states or whatever your open applications and then you can just start charging right away. At number two, we have the quick menu plus version 2.0.0 by Quava virus. And this gives us a few more options under our little menu our quick menu when you hold the ps button originally you will only have the network which is flight mode wi-fi and bluetooth but here we have an option to restart and power off and also you can add some more files to this plugin to add standby mode and also you can have a wallpaper on this quick menu which i'll cover in another video if you guys are interested just let me know in the comment section and we also have the master volume, which is not here before. So on your quick menu, it's not translucent like it looks here. You'll have like a gray and uh, white uh, background with the original PS uh, quick menu. But yeah, very convenient. I can just hit that restart uh, fairly quickly and get going on whatever I just installed right away. At number three, we have the DS3 Vita and the DS4 Vita by Serpy. And these two plugins allow you to connect your PS3 and PS4 controller to your PS Vita. Very cool way to connect your old PS3 controller and your current PS4 controller and have a better uh, gameplay with your PS Vita. Coming in at number four, we have the Sys Ident by Quava Virus at version 1.1. And this shows us system information in the settings app. This is very convenient and I just found out about this a few days ago. So once you install it and you reboot your system, go to your settings and then head down to system and go to your system information. Usually you'll see your system software, your Mac address and your memory card. But with this plugin, you can see more. You can have the current firmware, the factory firmware, your serial number, model, console ID, open PSID, you have the device model, device type, system type, IDU mode, show mode, manufacturing mode, and best of all, you have your device space. You can see all of that information in your settings very quickly, and it's very convenient. And I saved the best for last. My favorite plugin is the PSV Show by Electri version 1.2 beta. And this is the overclock plugin that shows us the frames and allows us to overclock our PS Vita. So pressing the select along with the up on the D-pad will bring up this little menu. Here it is. Looks like we have nine hours left on our battery, 67%. Here's our CPU percentages, our peaks, our memory, and down below we have the CPU and all these other things that we can overclock. And it's pretty cool. You can use this anywhere at any time. And there's three different uh, UIs. So here's the first one. If I press up and select again, it will bring up another mode. So you'll just see the 60 frames there up at the upper left hand corner. Let's press it one more time. And there it is. We have a smaller window. We can see our frames, how much percentage we're using on our system, our percentage on our battery and our CPU percentages. That is pretty cool. I might as well just throw this one here uh, at the very end since it just shows up 
anytime you open up an application you see the FPS in black and white at the upper left hand corner that is the frame counter by Rene Garamante it's a very simple frame counter if you're looking for something very simple and easy to use this is it just install it and anytime you run an application it will start uh, showing up there on the upper left hand corner so if you don't want something like that the overclock is too much you can just go ahead and download that install it and it should pop up anytime you run any application on your PS Vita I might as well talk about this one too since I'm actually using it right now and that is to stream your PS Vita screen to your PC over USB but you have to have some type of software that will communicate with video uh, like OBS, Streamlabs or any type of other streaming uh, application that will take some type of video. I love this plugin because it's very convenient I can start recording like that and get you guys all the content I can as soon as possible. So that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching that was my favorite five plugins well it was like six seven plugins on the ps vita and if you'd like to see more please let me know in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot here on youtube uh, just so that i can get better rankings in the search results and get more enthusiasts and more people here on the channel and if you have any questions comment down below and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss videos like this in the future thank you so much for watching take care guys and i'll see you on the next one